Hi, my Tubies, my Teletubbies. Let me first start off by saying, how do you like my Angela Davis look? With my Afro, my radical look. You know, all you got to do to soften up the good old Afro is put some makeup on, baby. You know how you do that uh, contour. Do some contouring and look at how hot you can look. Nothing like a good old makeup. Anyway, right now we're going to talk about narcissistic impulsive behavior. Which is pretty much the reason why I ended up getting a divorce because my ex narc was very impulsive. He did things without thinking. But you have to keep in mind that narcissists, they don't take other people into consideration. Especially when it comes to sex. Narcissists will basically have sex with anything or anyone. They don't have any standards. They honestly believe that nothing bad can happen to them. Narcissists, because of the way they act, you know, off of their impulse, they are the major cause of most STDs. Did you know that? Narcissists are impulsive when it comes to shopping, gambling, drugs, drinking, reckless driving, unprotected sex. Normal people like you and me, we normally, we think about the consequences before we act or before we do a certain something. Narcissists, on the other hand, they do not think like this at all. They don't think like we do. Another thing, have you ever noticed how narcissists usually usually drive fast and they drive reckless? Trust me when I tell you, I have been in the car with my ex-narc many times and this man was a, oh, please. I was like, okay, let me talk rational to this character. Let me make sure my voice is calm. And tell him, do you know what? Uh, uh, um, we need to slow down. Uh, um, okay, look, um, honey, uh, if you're upset, I'm sorry if you're upset. We need to slow this down. <laughs> and the way that character drove was like a bat out of hell. And you know how many accidents this character has had? First of all, he has one hand that's like they say the lobster claw. Come on already. And then you're sitting behind the wheel. That's bad enough you have a disability with one hand that's functioning. Oh, please. Yeah, I'm sure you've noticed how narcissists, they drive real fast and they're very reckless. They're so delusional into believing that an accident will never happen to them. Never them. It may happen to other people, but never them. My ex narc has been in so many car accidents, crashed up the cars, Oh, please, I don't even want to talk about it. They don't care about taking a chance with other people's lives either. He didn't care that I was in the car and my grandchildren were in the car while we were in Buffalo, some freaking strange land. Anyway, they tend to think that they are above the law and above the law and above the consequences that result from their behavior. And they often check this out unintentionally when it comes to them, of course unintentionally, but sometimes they also put themselves in danger. And you know what? Studies show that there is a flaw. This is why they do the things that they do, because there is a flaw in their analytical judgment. You know what analytical means? You got to think it out. I'm a Capricorn. I'm very analytical. I'm too analytical. I analyze everything except for sex and comedy. Those are the two things I will never analyze. You know, you got to kind of go, just go for it. You know, meaning that when these people, they, 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 they have a flaw in their analytical judgment. That means that they don't think about the consequences of their actions. Their impulsive behavior is also closely related to the neurotransmitters in their head. Especially the dopamine. Now, we all know what dopamine is. That's the feel-good uh, chemical inside your head. You know, but that, that dopamine, which is linked to the learning process also, and the reinforcements that we have. Studies also discovered that receptor flaws in the frontal lobe, specifically, think about the prefrontal cortex, which is in charge of your decision-making and your judgment. Now, if you had a man who had TBI, traumatic brain injury, nine times out of 10, the frontal lobe has been damaged. 
You'd be surprised how many people you're in a relationship with, whether it's a man or a woman who has been in a car accident and had their head hit some in some traumatic way, or whether they were in an abusive relationship and somebody hit them in the head, and that 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 that, that um prefrontal prefrontal cortex in the front of your head has been damaged, which is why a lot of the narcissists lose their temper so badly. And when you think about drug addiction and gambling, impulsive behavior, these things, let me tell you what happens with these narcs. They have this impulsive behavior and it always, always leads to a lot of regret after they think about their actions, after, after, the, after the fact. How sad is that? But they're also similar to the borderline personality disorder, you know? Those are people who have unstable emotions, unstable behavior, and they also have problems with dealing with people. They call it BPD, borderline personality disorder. And they're so similar to the narcissist because people with BPD, they have feelings of inadequ inadequacy. But often their problems come with their body and image. Like they don't like the way their body look. My ex narc, he hated he he had you know he had this this walk that he didn't like. He had his hand twisted up. He had he was like not as muscular. Like men are supposed to be muscular. Women are supposed to have like if men want women to have these spectacular shapes, men are, to be honest with you, they're supposed to be muscular. They don't get pregnant and give birth to babies. Men should have washboard abs. Men should be muscular. Since they, they put all of this, how you say, pressure on women. Let's talk about what a man's body is supposed to look like. Supposed to look like. But when it comes to people who are narcissistic or uh, how you say, BPD, borderline personality, they got issues when it comes to their body image. You know? And they usually have a problem. They frequently, frequently have problems maintaining relationship with the other people. And then you notice... If you notice that they often argue with the important people in their lives, not the outsiders or people who are, you know, nonchalant or don't mean much, but they usually have these arguments with the important people in their lives. So be careful. You know, anytime you see someone that you're dealing with and they have this impulsive type behavior, they do things without thinking things through. They're ready to just leap and jump. You know, I mean, jump into a pool without checking to see if there's water in the pool. That was my ex narc. And he used to get a little annoyed with me because hold up. Whoa, whoa, excuse me. Whoa. Wait, let me let me give this some thought. Let me give this some thought. And he was like, come on, let's go. No, 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 come on, my fat patootie. I tell you what, give me a minute. And I'm gonna think this through and I'll get back to you. How about that? Is is, is that a problem? Yeah, okay, and if you get a little agitated, then you're just going to be agitated. Because like I said, I'm a Capricorn, honey. Analytical, down to earth. I ain't trying to jump into nothing. I'm going to make sure there's water in the pool before I jump in. See, he's the type, he'll jump in the pool and, and, and hit and hit the bottom with his head all over the place. That's why he got a traumatic brain injury. He went jumping into things without looking. Make sure there's water in the pool, fool. Anyway, Sheila True Love, truly loving you always. You always have a choice. Please choose wisely. Until next time, bye for now.